Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Okami HD, episode 39. We are now in the forest of Yoshpet, and now we're gonna make our way deeper to find the missing Oina girl, Lika. So we'll talk to Kai here, who will be our guide throughout the forest. But I do now. Hmm. Nothing witty to say, Isun? That's not like you. A special place. Hmm. Whatever could that secret place be, Isun? Again, you've got nothing to say. So we soon must know the way there, then. Hmm. Yeah, I'd say we're ready to go. So, the idea of this part of Yoshpet is that Kai is going to lead us through the correct path to get us through the forest as quickly as possible. We've got five minutes though, so we can go ahead and take our time if we need to. Jump through the thorns here. There's several chests, lots of treasure to get along the way. And it's uh, good to do a few things preemptively so you don't have too much of a problem later on. There's also a time bonus if you need it. But, uh, just follow her, and things shouldn't be a problem. One thing you might want to consider doing is blooming these trees. These, uh, asshole trees, I think I've called them. Because all they do is just, uh, throw fruit at you and just treat you like shit. Bloom those, uh, relatively quickly. You don't have to, but, uh, A, it gets some good praise, and B, it'll help way later on when you have to come back here. I got through that thing, just throw it at me, and okay. Pyro Slash plus Bloom, when it works, is uh, what it takes to do this. And they will stay bloomed forever. Be sure to grab as many chests as you can along the way. Again, there's lots of treasure. Never touch the ice. Ice is definitely dangerous. Uh, you touch it, you freeze, or you take damage. Not a lot of other things uh, make you take damage around here, though. Okay, so especially around these water parts and when there's uh, ice nearby, definitely a good time to take out these asshole trees. They're gonna help you a lot later on, trust me. And what's a little bit of extra praise? Got time bonus, head on up here. One more chest. It's a holy bone. A pretty useless holy bone when you think about it. Because you've got so much health by now. Oh shit. Hopefully the ledges are easy to get back on top of. Oh! And that's what happens when you touch ice. Keep pressing X and you should break through it pretty quickly. Some of the trees you can avoid, but just definitely the ones that are by ice you should definitely bloom and knock out. So. Kai wants us to go that way. But we're gonna go down the dead end. Always go down the dead end first. Because there is always something at the end of these dead ends. Here's a chest. Gets us some cat's eye tassels. We're gonna have a lot to sell when we get back into town, I'll tell you that much. Three and a half minutes left. Still okay on time, but I do kind of want to step it up a little bit. The only thing that happens is that you just get sent back to the beginning, and I don't really want to do that. Here has falling icicles. Avoid them like the plague. Because it takes health, freezes you, and takes some of your time. Luckily, though, getting treasures doesn't take off on time, but being in brush mode does. It's 30 seconds. You don't need to be in front of Kai. But she just... 
guide you. Another chest with a godly charm. Another chest here. Whoa. A white porcelain pot. I think that's a new one. I don't think we've got that one yet. Another time bonus. Yeah, here'd be a good place to take out the trees as well. So that way they don't throw any fruit at you when you're coming back. They will be coming back here. Whoa. Maybe those guys too, just because they're really irking me. And I could use the extra points. That guy can live. He can warn his friends. There's also some shortcuts you can take. I don't think we missed anything over there. The shortcuts are very crucial to know as well. Again, for later. Another chest right here. And it's a stray bead. Stray bead 88. It's just there. Huh. Well, all right. Again, we'll head down the dead end. Because there's always something there. Another chest containing... Etched glass. Hmm. We're starting to get to these new treasures, which I'm sure fetch a higher price at the merchant. Because you can only find these kinds of treasures up here in the north, towards the end of the game. Alright, moving on to the third section. Snowballs will freeze you too. Avoid those similarly like the plague. But, there are a few things you can do to bypass some of these. Once you make it through this section, you can hop on up here. Well, some snowballs will be smart, but ideally, you can hop on up here and just avoid the whole section entirely. Gah! But again, sometimes they get smart. It's never happened before. Moving on! These guys are definitely crucial to take out. I'm gonna spare the time, actually. I'm take out most of them. I'm running out of time now, so I'm not feeling confident in doing all these guys, but hey, it'll help. And I got an extra time thing there, so I'm gonna go for that shit. That guy. This guy in the center, especially. If you can only take out one of these guys, if you only have enough time for that, take out that guy. If I can fucking bloom him! There. Keep these guys for later then. Probably this guy too. In fact, ideally you want to get all these guys, but we'll, we'll get to that. Alright, now I'm just killing time, really. Oh, another time boost. How thoughtful. I think there's another shortcut over there. Yeah. Here's the Steel Soul Sake. So many freaking... So much treasure, I can't even stand it all. Alright, another crucial one. Go down this dead end. Once we get there. You can see there's a chest that we have to dig up. Quickly, though. And that gets a Stray Beat 89. All right, keep going. All those preparations that we've had was so that we could prepare for the third stray bead, which we'll get probably in the next part of this Let's Play. But now we're at... somewhere. Hmm. Secret. So you do know something, Isun. Oh, 
Oh, you're really counting on me, huh? That's nice. Let's go check out this little secret. There's some animals to feed. I know we've got all the animals at this point, but it's always good to get praise because now we're pushing to get that praise. And then bloom these trees, too. Even though they don't really give much. They do give fruit, which gives money, and money is always good, especially since we're kind of hurting for it right now. Maybe some of these rabbits. It's kind of strange, they don't have vegetables. Alright, but head on inside of here. And then we'll head on over here. You know what I love? Reassociation. Of course! The lucky mallet! Well, it's context sensitive. Don't pretend that the mallet has a mind of its own as soon. That's kind of weird. Well, we got a couple things to do in here, so let's head in. But as soon will not be coming with us. Because he's a, <laughs> he's a loser. Anyway. I swear that's not how mallets work. Whatever, though. We're now inside the village of Punk Tan. Which you can tell by the theme music and most of the villagers around here that uh, this is where Isun is from. There are a few stray beads in here. A couple of little secrets, but uh, we'll uh, get those a little bit later on. Right now, there's only a few things I want to focus on. Take this right path first. We'll go all the way down here. Talk to this person. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. They can see my markings, too, which is also something to consider. Down here, we get a... Another large clover spot. I think we're gonna go for. Looks like I'm digging the right spot. Man, that's big. It gives us a nice three praise. Really good praise boost. Just here. It only has a crystal in it. There's two more things that we have to do in this village before we can move on. First, we gotta go in this house. With this girl in it, with the butterfly wings, head, hair, uh, yeah. Everyone say hi to Mia! Hi, hi Mia! Mia. So we needed to talk to her because she has seen Lika. Lika. Lika? And she's gone to the spirit gate. Mm hmm. Well, now we gotta go talk to the Elder, which is the second thing we've gotta do. You can't talk to one or the other. You gotta talk to both the Elder and that girl. Ah, ah. The Elder is up on this right path. Up on these onion steps. They look like onions, don't they? These, this house guarded by two punkles. Oh, because we don't have a soon, we no longer have a voice to communicate with anybody with. Hmm. 
Hmm. Continue on. Huh? I guess so. I suppose you better. All of his food. Amaterasu. <laughs> Yeah, tears. Hmm. It's kind of weird that he's calling me Amy and not Shiranui, which is definitely what's on his poster back here. Hmm. Huh. Some to consider. Ishaku is Isun's grandfather. His name, Ishaku, can be translated to mean one shaku, which equals about 30 centimeters in Japanese measurement. In turn, Isun's name can be translated to mean one sun, which is about a tenth of one shaku. I have no idea why their familiar relationship is seen as such a great revelation. <coughs> nope, we have only 12 so far. And even then, some of those powers need to be powered up. We've been doing fine so far, haven't we? Well, I would, but he's too chicken to come back home. You can't be the final boss because we still have more game to go, Amy! Sweet. Celestial envoys do go on. I have, yes. So it's deep, rich in tradition, and mythology, with the gods, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Be a celestial envoy is the highest honor that we can bestow upon these tiny bug people. So I gotta choose which of the seven, which of these bug people will be the seventh celestial envoy. But the more people believe in me, the more power I will have. But uh, whatever. There actually is a reason. That looks like a paintbrush. doesn't have a grandson anymore. Hmm. Gee, I wish I could tell where this plot is going to go. This side plot is just so mysterious, I have no idea what could become of it. 
Yeah, it's pretty obvious. Isun is the missing grandson that Ishaku was talking about. He's going to be the seventh celestial envoy, but he doesn't want to be that because he wants to be a warrior or whatever. He just... we'll find out later why. So, we've got everything we need to do. We can now leave the village. Just like your grandfather, huh? Because now Mia comes because we talked to her. Which I guess triggers this cutscene. Celestial Envoy, come on, it'd be cool! You'd be like one of seven people who'd be like awesome! I mean, come on, man! Yeah, dude, don't deny your birthright, dude. After all we've been through, you don't want to help me become more powerful? I mean, come on! What's up with that, he's soon? Don't be so cruel, dude! Dick is soon. Come on. Give her a little bit of credit. Come on. <laughs> Whatever, soon. Shouldn't be like that. Let's get off my nose. Ooh, boars defeat! Seeds? Okay. Yeah, you see, and you're being a real major dickwad right now. I mean, can you do something to help me for once? Like, oh, I don't know, lead me through Inner Yosh Pet? That'd be a real cool thing to do. Be real solid favor. This is the second part of the Yoshpet courses. It's kind of harder than the first, but you, we're not going to be coming back here at all, really. We've still got five minutes. There's still things to check out. There's still stray beads in here, so let's get to it. Oh, and now the thorns move, so yeah, there's that. Oh, still plenty of treasure here, though. First ones are turquoise tassels. You don't need to worry about these trees, though, because we're not going to be coming back here, so there's no need to optimize it. Unless if you really want that extra praise, but really it doesn't add up to being particularly profitable. You can come back and get them if you want to, but really you don't have to. Okay, start paying attention when we get to the snowballs. Make sure you don't hit any of them. I don't think any of them are going to get smart. Ah! After that, we should see a chest up here. That holds stray bead 94. There are a hundred stray beads. We're at 94 already, but there's still several to get because we missed some. Because we couldn't get them. Some of them we still can't. We're gonna head down this wrong path again. 
because his suit's bouncing the other way, and there is a chest, and it contains something very important, the etched glass. Well, it's not that important, but hey, we gotta get it at some point, right? So now we got it now. Demons are around here, but because of our peace bell, they're not gonna bother us. Second part is, well, more of the same, really. Ah! I don't know why I didn't jump. Ah! I don't know why I didn't see that. There we go, perfect. Ah! Keep an eye on the shadows, because you only have so little time to react before it slams down on you. Open this. Get us a white porcelain pot. These things telling us to hit through here. Ah, damn it. Ah, damn it. The ice will really kill your time, and uh, if you're not careful, it can really drain your health, too. It wouldn't be so bad to take out these guys, too, if you have the time, but... I don't want to do it right now. I've been blooming up enough trees, and I'm done with that for now. Ah, God, no! <laughs> I have no idea how that happened. Ice physics are tricky sometimes. And that's what happens when you fall into the Poison River. The more you know. I'll take this guy out. Why not? And I cut down another tree in the process. That was entirely my bad. I ran right into that one. That was not very smart. Neither was that. Oh, jeez. Okay, I think we're gonna come up on another split here pretty soon. Oh, I guess not. We missed it. It was back there, I'm sure. How did I fuck it up? Hold on. Damn it. Ah, skip ahead. I made a mistake somewhere. And now I learned that every time you go backwards, well, it's going to take you all the way back to the beginning of Yosh of Inner Yoshpet. Inner Yoshpet, mind. It doesn't take you back to the entire beginning. So, this is what I missed. We were supposed to go down this dead end. I just didn't see it my first time going around. Down here, there's a chest, and there's Stray Bean 95. Sorry about that. Continuing on. Pass this dude, and head into the third section for real. This one has the dreaded challenge of having snowballs and falling ice. Damn it. I would love to find the dude who can pull off this section perfectly without getting hit. These snowballs feel like... just random. I know the icicles fall at set points, but snowballs? I don't know. I feel like they get smart sometimes. Okay. Here you got a left catwalk and a right catwalk. You see a ledge over there with a chest, so take the right catwalk. Couple of well timed jumps. Take it here. You got stray bead 96. Next, take that takes care of all the stray beads up in here. And that's that. Nothing left here, so we can just go ahead and make our way through. Some extra time in case we need it. Ah! right on the edge. Another chest with an infinity stone. Guess we would have painted it. Come to think of it, does Veil of Mist slow down the timer? No, it does not. Some people were wondering about that. Alright, it's almost done here, but we've got one more dead end to check. Another 
buried chest. That is a sun fragment. How many do I have right now? I only have, okay, I only have one. So with that, finish out Inner Yoshpet and make our way to the Spirit Gate. I feel like we did this in Twilight Princess. You know, the Temple of Time. Well, well next time on Okami HD, we're gonna check out what lies beyond the mysterious Spirit Gate. We'll see you then.